Hi there. Um, if you are watching for the very first time, welcome to my uh, Japanese language learning live stream, where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. Today, we're going to be learning Japanese with Duolingo. We're going to be doing a lot of Duolingo today uh, and another app called Drops. And I will be trying to read the news in Japanese from NHK News Web Easy. How are you doing, everybody? Who is here today? Uh, I can see Silver in the chat. Uh, what? What? No audio? What? Can you hear me? Pink Ranger says no audio. Okay. <laughs> can you hear me, everybody? Did any of that come through? <laughs> Do I have to start again? Welcome to my Japanese language learning live stream where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. Okay, Silver says there was always audio for me. Pink, I think the problem is at your end. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be using Duolingo. We're going to be using Drops. We're going to be using NHK News Web Easy. And if you're watching later on YouTube, I will put links to those down in the description so you can jump forward and backward. And you don't have to watch the whole live stream. Spoiler alert. We often go on for an hour, an hour and a half. Could be two hours today. We are starting unusually early. But I wanted to start early because I was hoping, hoping uh, that we could get some people from different time zones in. People like Pink Ranger down there in the chat. How are you doing, Pink? It's good to see you today. I know that it's late for you. Um, and a lot of people do have to be up early in the morning on Mondays for work and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to start a little bit earlier. I know that my existing time slot suits nobody. Nobody. Um, I stream uh, at around midday here in Hong Kong, which is basically the middle of the night in the UK. It is late Sunday evening in the US of A. Everybody's at work in the Australias. There's nobody here to watch it. It's nearly midnight for Silva. How are you doing, Silva? Are you doing okay? Are you studying well? Um, Silva is better at Japanese than me. A lot better, but I'm going to be better than them later on. That's my plan. And I've been working especially hard this week. Um, yeah, uh, for a while, I was honestly doing the bare minimum. I was still happy to see you guys every Monday. Um, and hold on a second, Pink Ranger says, if I wasn't opening, I'd be able to catch the whole stream. Don't worry. Don't worry, I understand. Silver is absolutely not studying well. I wasn't studying well either. Um, so I... I was going through Duolingo and the first part of it is fairly easy, but with like a few complications that you kind of get through. And then every now and then, as you work through the app, you come across units that are just kind of hard to digest. And when you keep coming up against the same problems again and again, it can be difficult, right? It can be difficult to, to feel like you're making progress. And I did kind of wind down a lot of my studying for a few weeks on top of not having that much motivation to study. And I, I was still studying every day, most every day, um, but I was doing the bare minimum. Um, on top of that, real world life kind of got in the way of things as well. You know, when you have to like deal with things in your normal human life, uh, it can be difficult to focus on, you know, extra things like study. Um, so yeah, I was kind of not studying that well. Then uh, last week, I was watching a stream by Fifth Wisdom, who also studies Japanese with Duolingo. I've been watching a few streams by Tananobu, uh, a Japanese Duolingo streamer. And I don't know what it was. Maybe my real world things are kind of like uh, not too, they're, they're, they're not too in focus right now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but I've got a little bit of extra time and I've got a lot of extra motivation and I have been studying a little bit harder. In a moment, you will see how much XP I've been getting on my Duolingo. But yeah, let's fly through this introduction and we'll get onto the NHK Web News Easy. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you really are. Okay then. This is my Japanese language learning live stream where I'm trying to see if I can get good at Japanese. As always, we are streaming Midday Monday here in Hong Kong, but today it is the 2nd of August. What? It's August? Time does appear to be flying. I hope it flies a little bit faster. I'm waiting for Hong Kong to cool down a little bit. That will be like September, October. Uh, but yeah, we are streaming live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly. If you're watching live, stay in the chat. 
talk to me, help me um, with my studies. Uh, but if you can't watch live, that's totally fine because you can watch later on youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly as well. Are you watching on YouTube? Hello, YouTube people. You're probably not here for Duolingo. Everybody's here for Pokemon Go. But uh, I hope that you enjoyed this stream as well. Um, I would like to say thank you to anyone who is with me, anyone who's watching later. And in particular, I would like to say thank you to our latest new follower, Yundi Lundy, Jundi Lundy, and to our latest subscriber, Cat008001. And also thank you to Expert Links for cheering those bits as well. Expert Links uh, is a Pokemon Go IRL streamer based in New Zealand. And uh, as someone who streams Pokemon Go IRL, yeah, nothing but respect. It's hard work. It is hard work. So a special thank you to everyone here. Um, thank you to anyone who has also donated to our ALS charity. Look at that down there. We have raised 1,500 Hong Kong dollars for the ALS Association. I'm going to have to increase that. Hold on a second. Let me just go to Streamlabs Charities. Um, Streamlabs Charities is a great website because... They basically just forward all of your, your donation directly to the charity. They don't take a cut. They don't charge the charities anything. Um, but yeah, it's been, uh, I've had a really good experience with Streamlabs charities so far. I'm just going to quickly log into there and increase, increase. Thank you for the shout out, uh, Pink Ranger. Yeah, shout out for Expert Links. They were last seen playing Pokemon Go. Um, let me just look at this. So, so far we have raised $1,500. I'm going to change that goal amount a little bit higher up. We're going to change that to $2,500. What do you think, guys? Can we make $2,500 Hong Kong dollars for the ALS Association? I hope we can. I'm sure that will update later on, but we will see. Okay, then. Shall we get into what we were here to do? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to read the news in Japanese. <laughs> Let's see how well we can do. It is time for NHK News Web. Easy. I hope that news wasn't too loud. Konnichiwa. I should put my eyes down, right? Konnichiwa. Kyo no news desk. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try and read this. Uh, Olympiku de. A word that I can't read. Olympiku. Now, Olympiku is Olympic Games. Olympiku de. This looks like ongaku no ngaku. It's like the second word of music, but I'm not sure how to say it here. I'm going to say ngaku, but it's going to be wrong. Olymp Emergency, state of emergency. I don't know what that means, but we've got the words Olympics. So um, this is the Olympic Games, right? Uh, the Olympic Games, something... I think that's state of emergency, uh, meaning, should we translate this? Okay, let's do some Google Translate so we can actually understand this. I feel happy at the Olympics. Oh, yeah. The second word of music, ongaku, that word means happiness. I feel happy at the Olympics. The state of emergency is meaningless. What? Really? Is the state of emergency meaningless? I wonder who's saying that. But we're going to try and read this with the hurigana. Oh no, uh, it's not gaku. Olympiku de tanoshi ki pun. So ki was right. I said pun, it should be pun. Okay, so a second reading for this word. So ongaku no ngaku. We can also say tano, tano. Olympiku de tanoshi ki pun. State of emergency. How do we say that? How do we say it? Um, hold on. Pink Ranger says, the segue. I love it. Do you love it? I stole the introduction from uh, the NHK News Hour, today's news, from like 1970-something. I love it too. <laughs> okay. State of emergency in Japanese is... Kinkyuji Taisen Gen. Wow. 
Imi, we got that right. Imi, meaning kanakunaru. Uh, hmm. Let's listen to that and see whether it sounds the way that I said it. Let's hear how real people say this. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Stop it, stop it, stop talking. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look through this. And if we have a look at the next line, we're not going to read the whole paragraph. We are not. I will give up. I will give up. Uh, Pink Ranger says, so that's why it had a kind of an old style to it. I love it even more. Yep, yeah, stolen. It is stolen. I'm waiting for the uh, I'm waiting for the copyright claim on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I can read this word, uh, but I can't read it in Japanese. I can read it in Chinese. So shinryu shinrikaku samlei hot. That means psychology. So here it says some uh, uh, shinryu shinrikaku no senmon ga. So that means like uh, a psychology professional, I guess. Um, a psychology specialist, maybe. I think that might be more like specialist. A psychology specialist, wow. Uh, atarashi, atarashi, coronavirus. Okay, atarashi means new. Atarashi, coronavirus. Corona. We know that word. Coronavirus. The new coronavirus. Atarashi coronavirus ga hirogaru no o tomeru ameni Tokyo. Now, this word is in yellow. And the yellow words are the names of places. Blue words are the names of people. So, green words are the names of people. Blue words are the names of places. What am I? I'm saying all the wrong colors. Goodness me, I'm colorblind today. Green, people. Orange, places. Blue, organizations, companies, things like that. So we've got orange here, which is Tokyo. So that's telling us this is the name of the city. Ni, state of emergency. Ga, deteimasu. Sore na no ni olimpiku. Ga, atte. Uh, Virusu, virus, virusu, virusu, virusu. How do you say that word? How do you say virus in Japanese? Um, let's try and get that spoken. Translate it, say it. Virusu. Virusu, virus. What? Okina montai. Okay, so the virus. Big problem, big question. Dewa naito kanga e te shi mao ki mo i ka hiro ka te mas to hanashi te mas. That was too much. It's too much. I can't read it. But Google Translate is going to help us, right? At least we know that it is a psychology specialist, right? Is that what it's going to say? Psychology expert. That's the word. Sorry. Expert. Sen Monka mm. said, in order to stop the spread of the new coronavirus, a state of emergency has been declared in Tokyo. However, there is an Olympics and the virus. There is a widespread feeling that people think that it is not a big problem. That was what we said down there. Uh, Okina. Montai. Big problem. Ah, my Japanese is a big problem. This is why you don't get the news from Anthony. We're not going to read the whole this. We lose viewers. As we do NHK News read <laughs> news easy, the number of viewers goes down. It's like, oh my God, Anthony's Japanese is terrible. Don't worry. We'll be back to Duolingo in just a second. Tokyo has got very nice kanji, right, Silver? It's really nice. Like those two words together. Um side by side. It's just a really, really nice uh, way of writing. You can tell why they became the capital. The name looks pretty. It weeds out the real fans. Am I right? Uh, right now? Yeah. How many real fans? Okay, then. <laughs> Let's jump into some Duolingo and drops, shall we? Should we do drops first? Hold on, hold on, hold on.
Uh, before we do anything, let's just jump into our Duolingo statistics for a second so I can show you what I mean about like how I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> load, load, load. Boom. Do you see that? Flatlined. So the amount of lessons that I was doing was going down and then it flatlined just with like little spasms there. And then whoop way up there. I've been doing well. I've been studying hard. And I think part of that is down to uh, me studying a slightly different way. So let's load up Duolingo. Give me just a second to load up Duolingo. Have you seen this new introduction screen? Right there. It's new. Okay. I have around one fan, so you're ahead of me. Nick gave me a high five for, le for earning 150 crowns. What? Hey, why isn't that refreshed? Why hasn't that refreshed? My my thing. My crowns haven't refreshed. Huh. Hold on a second. Let me just try and refresh that. Come on, crowns. Come back. There we go. Oh. Something's gone wrong with my crowns. Oh well. Just 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 ignore the crown problem down there. Oh, I know what's happened. I know exactly what's happened down there. Give me a second. If I... The, the way that I made... If, for a little bit of inside baseball, if anyone wants to know how I made this uh, little crown reader without having access to Duolingo's database, what this is... This is actually... Ah! Ah! Hold on. Can I grab one of those? Can I grab it? Let me just try and grab it. Duolingo things. Okay, so what this is, can I just, give me a second, Streamlabs. Okay, please allow me to just grab this, copy it, paste a reference, pull this up here. What this is, this is a website. Huh? And if I open this up a little bit wider, and pull this out a little bit. This is actually a website and a pop-up has appeared. So how do I interact with this? A pop-up has appeared on the website and I'll try and kill it. Interact. Okay, let me just close that pop-up. There we go, and that should be back. That should all be back now. So let me kill that. Are you sure you want to remove that? Yep, okay. We fixed it. A pop-up had appeared on the website that I was using to steal the crown information, and we've killed it. Pop-ups are the worst, am I right? Oh, I almost forgot before I begin. Uh, today we are drinking a new ramenet. Hold on. Yogurt flavored ramenet, guys. I found this in Circle K. This is amazing. Now they've covered up the um, the uh, katakana there. A uh, yogurtto. Yogurt flavored ramen. Now, normally, uh, I normally have to get ramen from like Japanese shops. I've never found ramen in Circle K before. Um, from Hata. Hata, if we look at our ramen rankings, because that's a thing, um, Hata had the honor of being the best ramen with Hata strawberry flavor, and also being the worst ramen with Hata orange flavor. Ew, it was bad. It was, it was really really bad. Um, so we are going to see what yogurt flavor ramen is going to taste like. Is it going to taste like Yakult? Is it going to taste like Greek yogurt? What does that even mean? It smells like nothing. I can't smell yogurt. I can't smell the sweet. I can't smell anything. What does it taste like? It doesn't taste like yogurt, at least not at first blush. It's bad. I mean, like, it's not terrible. It's just like completely inoffensive. Where's the yogurt flavor? It reminds me of that Sakura um, ramen air that I had last week or the week before where I discovered that it was just original ramen air with a nice like label on it with a pretty label rip 
Yogurt flavor ramen it has a slight hint of yogurty goodness to it, a very slight hint of it, but it's like it is like it wanted to be yogurt and then it got shy. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Do you like cowpeas? I've never tried it. I've never tried cowpeas. Um uh, I I've heard of it. I know the jokes about the name. Um cowpeas is karu pisu. <laughs> karu pisu. Um but no, I have never tried karapisu, kalpis. Um, I'll try and get some. I will try and get some maybe for uh, for the coming week. So, um, so far, I don't know where yogurt flavor ramen is going to settle on the list. It's it's better than orange. I think it's better than that lemon. Um, I think it's even better than watermelon because watermelon was weird. But I don't know. I mean, like the pineapple one, like it didn't taste good, but at least it tasted like pineapple candy. I I'm not sure where yogurt should go because it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes nothing. It tastes nothing. It's here. It's sweet. It's bubbly, and it's gone up my nose. Okay, shall we do a little bit of? Excuse me for a sec. I've got ramenet up my nose. So yeah, I have been doing okay with my Duolingo. You can see all these purple crowns. We now have purple crowns. Um, Silver says they call it Calpico uh, in a lot of places because of the name sounding bad in English. I know, right? Okay, so what's been going on? Previously, uh, I didn't have purple crowns at all on uh, Duolingo. And a lot of people don't. I don't know why it suddenly unlocked for me a few weeks ago. Um, so I went back to the beginning to try to start purple crowning my earlier lessons. And something has happened here that speaks very much to my personal OCD, which is obviously I've got these up to level six at the top. I've got the, uh, the crowns here up to level six. And way down here at the bottom, I'm at level zero for these. Excuse me. And then... I kind of want them to be in order. Like, I want the level to go from level six, working all the way down to level zero. So I've been doing lessons, like, from way back months and months and months ago to try to get these in order. Look what I've been doing, okay? So these are all full. And then I've done slightly less of intro one, slightly less of katakana two, slightly less of intro two. This one is here annoying me right now because I did that a few weeks back. And I've just been working my way through it, trying to get them into like highest level to lowest level order. And I've been doing a lot of lessons a day, basically because of this kind of like OCD which is great. It's great because I'm actually studying a little bit harder than I had over previous weeks. So that's been really good. Um, I've also been doing drops. Let me just find drops. Where are you? Um, I've also been doing drops over the last few weeks. A uh, few weeks, a few days. I, I did it for a bit and then I stopped and I did it for a little bit more. Um, but because it's the Olympic Games, I've been trying to unlock more of the sports related vocabulary. So you can see here, we've got sports equipment, more sports and sports. Um, I've just unlocked swimming. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, we've also got extreme sports, athletics, gym, skiing and ice hockey, soccer and ba uh, basketball and bicycle. A lot of Olympics related stuff here. Um, so I've been doing that in drops basically because to get to the sports section in Duolingo, um, you have to like get to checkpoint three, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, also over the last week, ah, let me just jump down here uh, into show and tell. Where's show and tell? Where's show and tell? Where's show and tell? Where are you? I've lost you. Here. Yeah. We've also been doing a little bit more in show and tell. If you're in my Discord server, um, there is a section in the Japanese section called show and tell where you can share some Japanese that you've been learning over the last week. Um, I posted last week's NHK uh, News Web Easy article in there as well. But over here, let's have a look. Uh, hold on. Over here, let's have a look. Um, 
you can actually learn Japanese in Hong Kong, just in your everyday life. Uh, we have a lot of these、uh, gacha machines here in Hong Kong. Like, there's so many gacha machines around, and most of them have Japanese toys in them. So if we look here, okay,、um, these are little toys,、uh, little musical instruments. And here, let's have a look. Here, it says down there, metaru, metaru. That's katakana for metal, right there. Metaru、uh, collection. So this is the metal musical instrument collection.、Um, I don't know how to say musical instrument in Japanese. Let me just search for that. Metal musical instrument collection.、Uh, musical instrument. I can read it again because of the the Chinese the, the kanji. Let's have a listen. Ah, that's very quiet. Volume is off. Let me try that again. Gaki. Metal gaki collection. It's the metal musical instrument collection. So yeah, these are kind of like、uh, gacha games where you. Beep your uh, uh, octopus card, your money card here in Hong Kong, and then you turn the handle, and then you get a ball inside it, and you could get metal musical instruments, little、uh, ornamental things.、Uh, by the way, you can see there, like in that gacha machine, there's a, a panel on the front that is for our cards that we use here in Hong Kong, called octopus cards. This is mine. I've got it as a, a, a key ring here,、um, and as part of the kind of like Coronavirus、uh, stimulus that they're doing in Hong Kong right now.、Um, they have just credited、uh, how much money onto this? Two thousand Hong Kong dollars onto this. The government have just added two thousand Hong Kong dollars onto my、uh, card here, which is about one hundred and sixty US dollars,、uh, which you can spend on anything that you like. So I could literally go and get one thousand six hundred dollars of. Metal musical instruments from the gacha machines、uh, on the、uh, government's pocket, or I could try and get these. What does that say? That says "rameki chen." What is that? Rame, rameki. Oh, rame keychain, keychain. It's a keychain. There you go. I could get a keychain. I think I think that says keychain for my card. That would work. I think that's a keychain. What else was in the gacha machines? <clears throat> oh, oh, oh! At the top, we can read that, right? Toy story. Toy story. Toy story. Oh my goodness, they are. Is that... yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the little spork down there.、Oh, we've got the three-eyed aliens. We've got the pig. Toy Story,、um, but no Buzz or Woody or anybody that you might know. What else have we got here? If you have been learning Japanese with Duolingo, you should know these three kanji. Kanji number one, asa, right? Asa gohan no asa. Kanji number two and three, huro, asa huro, morning wash, maybe. Uh, it looks like this is like a towel, maybe for washing in the morning. Kore, this ichimae de asahuro. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there's that word again.、Uh, kipun. What is kipun? I want to know what that is. Is that feeling? Because we just saw that word in NHK News Web Easy, right? I'm just going to type this on my phone. Give me a second. Ki. Ah,、uh, pun. Ki pun is feeling. New word. Write it down. Ki pun is. Wait for. Wait for it. Feeling. Feeling. So this is with one sheet. You can get the morning wash feeling. Maybe there's something about hair care in here. There's something about, yeah, I don't know. 
a lot of cosmetic stuff, a lot of cosmetic stuff. But anyway, we have a lot in our show and tell here. If you would like to uh, have a look at that, you can join our Discord server. Type exclamation mark Discord into the chat and you can jump into there and uh, join us over there. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, Silver says, I love that there is something called an octopus card. Yeah, it's called octopus. Uh, I don't know if you can see the... Chinese characters here. Let me try and focus on that. In Chinese, it says batatong. That is eight. Um, batatong is like, it, it sounds like you can use it for a lot of different stuff. Um, but yeah, the name is Octopus. And when they introduced travel cards in London, um, I don't know if, whether it was done in like conjunction with Hong Kong octopus cards. But when they introduced these cards in London, uh, they called them oyster cards. So Hong Kong has octopus and London has oyster. What are travel cards called where you are? Do they have weird names or is it just like a travel pass or something like that? Uh, but yeah, in Hong Kong, they are octopus cards. Should we jump back into Duolingo? Duolingo drops, Duolingo drops. Let's do drops for a minute. Let's do some drops, shall we? Because uh, we are learning a little bit about swimming. Oh, by the way, uh, Drops keeps asking me whether I want to go premium. And this is quite funny, okay? So, um, as you know, Drops, as you may know, this app called Drops, this is a very good app um, for learning vocabulary in different languages. I'm learning Japanese with this, but you can learn like a lot of different languages with it. But they only give you, can you see up there? They only give you five minutes every 10 hours. Five minutes of study every 10 hours. Oh, Silver Aura says, I have no idea what a travel card is. Okay before we talk about drops. So basically, this is a uh, a contactless wallet, okay? So you can add money to it. And then when you take the bus or a minibus or the train, you just beep your card and it will let you onto the bus or it will let you onto the train. And it will automatically kind of like take from that stored value of the card. And then you can top it up. You could either auto pay, top it up from your bank, um, or you could like manually go to uh, a 7-Eleven and you could add money onto the card. Um, in Japan, they have, oh, what are the names of the cards in Japan? The IC cards. There's a bunch of different ones. We, we've got some lying around somewhere. Let me just have a very quick look. Okay, in Japan, they have uh, Suika, Pasmo. Oh, Suika sounds like watermelon. Uh, Pasmo, and there's another one as well. Um, so Japan has got a few different cards that you can use. Uh, in Hong Kong, we have octopus cards. And originally, these were just for taking the train. Like uh, when I first came to Hong Kong years ago, this was basically just for the train. Um, but they started adding like different things to it. So you could actually use this when paying in 7-Eleven or Circle K right now. Um, in the last couple of years, a lot of restaurants um, accept Octopus as a means of payment. So especially last year, like during the coronavirus pandemic, it was really useful to be able to buy something, go to a restaurant and just beep your card rather than like handling cash. Hey, Buddha Burner, how are you doing? Uh, we're learning Japanese with Duolingo, but I'm just talking about our Hong Kong travel card situation right now. So yeah, I have this on my keyring. I use this for buying stuff in the convenience store. I use it for paying for my lunch. Um, I use it for taking the train as well. And yeah, it's got money on it right now. And because of the stimulus, it's got a little bit of extra money on it right now, which I could spend on, you know, chocolate, stuff like that. Yeah, actually, after I got after I got my uh, two thousand stimulus dollars on my card, uh, the first thing that I bought was chocolate. That was it, chocolate and ramen. It. Chocolate and ramen. It, that's where my money's going to. Okay, uh, back to drops. Buddha Buddha says, "Nice, I'm doing well. Just got home. From well, you just got home from work, Buddha. Oh wow, it's getting late for you, isn't it?" Uh, Pink was in here earlier on as well. I'm not sure if she's still around. Uh, but 
you can share an account. Okay, so this is Duolingo. It's not, this is Drops. And Drops will only let you study for five minutes every 10 hours, which is kind of annoying. Now, here's a uh, pro tip. If you install Drops on two devices at the same time, okay, and you do your five minutes of work on one of the devices, and then you finish that and you lock it and you just leave it where it is and you load it up on a second device. You can often, but not always, get a second five minutes of study, which is what I've been doing. So yeah, pro tip, if you want to get longer on, um, on drops, you can do that. Now, oh, the restaurant's opening days tomorrow. You've been living at, Pink, you've been living at work. Oh, he's been living at work for a few days. Guys, don't work too hard. Like, I'm, I'm happy that you've got a lot of stuff to do, but uh, don't work too hard, guys. So anyway, uh, looking at drops. Okay, try seven days for free. And then, hold on a second, discounted rate, 548 Hong Kong dollars a year. Let me just do a quick search here for how, like uh, a quick calculation. So five, four, eight. Oh, this is a better offer than what they gave me before. Five, four, eight divided by, let's have a look. Five, four, eight divided by 12. Okay, 45 Hong Kong dollars a month. What do you think, guys? Like, is this what, should I try this for free? Uh, or should I just keep dragging it out? Because if it's seven days for free, I could go crazy on this for the next week, right? Right? Uh, I don't know whether I should do it or not. It's still expensive. Like, let, let me just show you. 548 Hong Kong dollars per year. $548 is in US dollars. That is 70 US dollars for this app. 70 US dollars. Silver says it's a trap. But I could just do the seven days and quit, right? I don't know. I, I I feel like it's a trap. I feel like it's a trap. Let's keep going with this for now, okay? So we're going to do a minute of drops for a second. Oh, no sound. No sound. Ah. Uh, uh, fins. Fins. Stop it. Stop. Pause. 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 Don't use my time. I've only got five minutes. Let me just get the sound coming through here. So yeah, I'm scared that this is a trap. Okay, hopefully you'll be getting sound through here in just a second. Let's try that again. Fin. Fin. Okay, you can hear that, right? Fin. That's this one. Fin. All the swimming vocabulary. Jiugata. What was that? Jiugata. Okay, freestyle. Jiugata. 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 Sorry, not kata. Jiugata. Freestyle swimming. Did you have you been Jiu watching gata. the Olympics? The Jukata was crazy. Jukata. Freestyle Jiu swimming. Jukata. Fin. Fin. Okay. This is such a nice way of learning. Hiraoyoki. Hiraoyoki. Uh, breaststroke. I haven't watched the breaststroke this time. Say that again. Hiraoyoki. 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 Breaststroke. Oh, how do we say that? Hirao yogi. Hirao yogi. The bottom one was fin. Hira. Oh no, this one was ju gata. Ju gata. Ju gata. My swimming is like a weird combination of ju kata and hirao yogi. Am I getting that right? Um, I will swim like with my legs kicking, but then I do breaststroke arms. What style is that? What style is that? Fin. Fin. What else have we got? Seoyogi. Seoyogi. Backstroke. Oh. Seoyogi. Backstroke. Seoyogi. Did you see the competition in the swimming where they have to do like four different styles when they're swimming? Seoyogi. Backstroke. Seoyogi. Okay. 
自由かった。That's free stuff. 自由型。自由、自由。ピン。ピン。ピン。ピン。See how fast this five minutes is going? バタフライ。バタフライ。Oh my god, that guy from Hungary. Uh, Malak, Butterfly. He's crazy. He's so fast. Butterfly. 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 Pin. Pin. And again, there's other languages here. Like if you want to. Oh, Jiu Kata.、Uh, freestyle. That one. Jiu Kata. Jiu Kata. Kata. Uh, hirao, hiraoki, hiraoki, hiraoyoki, hiraoyoki, sorry, hiraoyoki, nose clip, nose clip, I know what that is even without looking, nose clip, oh look at the picture, it's a peg, nose clip, nose clip, nose clip, nose clip, nose clip, oh that's amazing, oh hold on a second, Buddha says, I believe I still need to learn the alphabet and their pronunciations. You want to learn the alphabet? You can use drops.、Uh, if I just jump out of this for a second, because we still have time, we've got two minutes left on the clock.、Oh, it's counting, it's counting, it's counting. Stop! Stop!、Um, right there at the very top, they have alphabet. So they do things like this this is sat, and then you have to draw it out. Draw it out. Sa. Sa. And they will say it slowly. One, two, three. Sa. Sa. It's great. It's really good. And then they do like matching exercises. So that is sa. Sa. And that one is ka. Ka. And that one is ku. Ku. So it's really good. Sa.、Oh! I didn't even look at what I was pressing then. Now, do you really know things I don't know? Oh, thank you so much for the hydrate pink. Hydrate or die. Pink Ranger, have you seen our new channel points? We've got a new channel point logo. I updated my channel points before Kuri, so don't think I copied her. Sa. Sa. We got that right. Sa. Sa. So, yeah, this is great. Like, it goes back to the very beginning. Is this Ka? No, it's Sa. Sa. We know it's sa, we just wrote it. Sa, that sa. one. Ko. Ko. Ku. Ku. It's great. Now, again, is five minutes a day enough? I don't know. Sorry, not five minutes a day, five minutes、sa. every ten hours. But I love this app. Ke. Ke. So they teach you how to write, they teach you how to say it.、Um, ki. Ki. Ke. Ke. Ko. Ko. So, if I just quickly jump out of, out of this so you can see how it works.、Um, at the top, they've got a bunch of foundation level stuff. So, for Japanese, foundation level is like basically like reading. Like, how do you actually read the characters?、Um, for some of the characters, they will also teach you how to write them. But not all of them, not all of them. But for the basics, like the basic kind of like Japanese alphabet, they'll teach you how to, how to read it and how to write it.、Um, but yeah, you could work your way through all of these foundation level things. And if you look at this,、um, a little bit different here. So if we look down at sports, which is where I just was. Wait, 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 wait where are the sports? Okay. All of these are unlocked because I've been working my way through them. So, because I started with sports and then more sports and sports equipment, and it unlocks as you progress through it. For the foundation level ones, many of them are already unlocked at the beginning. So, like, if you already know part of it and you want to jump onto the next part, the foundation level stuff is already unlocked. But yeah, it's good. They've got food, drinks, etiquette, animal sounds. This is one that I want to learn animal sounds. We haven't done that yet. Um, and for the Olympic Games, we've been doing sports. Like this one Ice Skate. Ice Skate. Ice Skates. Oh,、uh, what was this one? Ah, what is it? What is it? What is it? America. Ah, swim. Sweet. Sweet. No. 
เอ่อเอ่อแคบะแคบะแคบะอเมริกันฟุตบอลอเมริกันฟุตบอลอเมริกันฟุตบอลอเมริกันฟุตบอลอเมริกันฟุตบอล and the five minutes are up Remember to hit the pause button. Do you want to unlimit your progress? Skip. Skip it. Hold on, I'm itchy. Uh, Buddha says so. It's I like. It's called drop. It's called drops uh, with an S. So if you search for it on the website, the website is language drops. Uh, but on the app store, it's just called drops. And on the let me just have a look here. Yeah, where's my app store? Okay, so if we have a quick look here, just the drops. Okay, there's a bunch of different ones here. So there's like the basic drops app at the top, but then there's like Mandarin drops, English drops, French drops, Hebrew drops, and there's a bunch of different languages here. So if you want to learn a language, drops could be a good complement to something like Duolingo. And yeah, it's quite cool. It's quite cool. Um, hold on a second. Uh, Buddha says you're really good at this. Where did you study, if I may ask? City, not actual school. Oh, Pink, you going to bed? Okay, thank you for dropping by. It's really nice to see you. Um, Damn it! Bye bye. Bye bye, Pink. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for the blurb. Um, no, um, yeah, it's okay. It's with a with an with an S, Buddha. Um, I studied. Back in the UK, I didn't study Japanese in the UK. Um, I studied uh, my normal studies, my school studies back there. Um, but my Japanese has been like largely self-study. Um, I've been living in Hong Kong for a few years, and um, so my Chinese, my Cantonese, is not bad. It's not bad, and that gives me a little bit of an advantage when it comes to some Japanese characters that are based on Chinese characters, because even if the words are not exactly the same, they are sometimes similar. So sometimes I will see Japanese words and I will recognize them just because they're similar to Chinese. Um, but for a lot of words, um, I'm having to learn it. Kind of fresh, and for the pronunciation, I'm having to learn it fresh as well. Because even if a word looks the same, it generally isn't pronounced the same. But yeah, most of my Japanese language learning has been with apps, and uh, yeah, that is the idea here. Can we get good at Japanese just using apps like Duolingo? Should we jump into some Duolingo, guys? Now that we've run out of time on, uh, we've run out of time doing our. Drops. Okay, so again, I've been going back to the beginning here and working my way through it. Um, if the farther down you go on this list, the more difficult it gets and the lower my level. Um, but we could go back to the beginning. I know that we have people watching who are absolutely absolute beginners at language, and some people who are, you know, native speakers. So uh, let's go back to introduction, and we are going to try to purple crown this. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, then, if we finish this exercise, if we finish this exercise, we will get our purple crown. Are you ready? You can only make three mistakes in this challenge. Stay focused. Me, stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. Yes. How do you say yes in Japanese, Buddha? How do you say yes? Hi. Hi. Yes. Okay then. Select the correct character for Gakse. Okay. If you start doing Duolingo, you'll be learning words like this kind of like pretty early on. We've got a few words here. Daigaku. Daigaku. Which means university or big school. Gakse. Gakse. Gakse, which is student. Sensei. Sensei. Which is teacher. And then is this Mura? Mura. There we go.、Uh, which is like is that like a village or something? Something towny.、Uh, but they want us to write gakse. Gakse.、Um, yeah, self-taught, but、uh, basically self-taught.、Um, when I first learned Cantonese,、um, I did have a, I did 
uh, join a Cantonese course um, for a couple of months. Well, actually, I learned. Okay, okay. So before I came to Hong Kong, I learned Cantonese part time uh, in a language center in Birmingham in the UK. Um, and I don't. Uh, that language center is no longer where it was. I think that it's still around. Uh, but I used to go there part time, you know, one day a week uh, after work and study Cantonese there. Um, I then did like a two month crash course um, learning Cantonese. And then since coming to Hong Kong, like based on having that kind of foundation there, having a, b a bit of a foundation, just being exposed to Chinese every day um, helped me to learn it quite quickly. Uh, so, yeah, I got quite fluent at Cantonese based on having a course to build a foundation and then just kind of like listening and speaking and being exposed to the language. For Japanese, um, basically, I've just been using apps. I did have a few one-to-one -one lessons at one point with a Japanese teacher, but that was weeks not months or years it wasn't very long uh that japanese teacher did go back to japan so i didn't have that many one-to-one -one japanese lessons um but yeah it's basically just duolingo a lot of duolingo hi hi means yes we know that we're not gonna make three mistakes we're gonna make zero zero mistakes are you japanese okay nihon chin Nihon Jin. Yeah, what did I write there? Nihon Jin. Yeah, what am I writing? I keep missing the keys. Nihon Jin Deska. Is that right? Nihon Jin Deska. Yep, Igirisu Jin Des. Igirisu Jin Des. Nihon Jin Imaska. Mura, that was the word that we just Mura. learned. Mura. Okay, we're getting there. Keep it up, 12,453 other learners are practicing Japanese with you right now. Plus one. 中国人ですか? We know this word, 中国人ですか? Yep, イギリス人です. Are you Chinese? And those first two characters would be China. 中国. 中国人 with the third character is people from China. I forgot to put the question mark. Luckily, Duolingo didn't mark me down for it. Uh, Nakamura. Nakamura. The, the, this this yogurt hata is particularly bubbly. I'm feeling it. Nakamura is a Japanese surname. If you watched Heroes, that uh, comic book TV show from way back in the day, uh, the lead character was Hiro uh, Nakamura. Right? Hiro Nakamura. Are you Chinese? Chu Goku Jin. Yes, ka. And we're actually able to type on the keyboard now. This is great. Chu Goku Jin des ka. Are you Chinese? Yep. America Jin des. Igirisu Jin des. Nihon Jin des. Hi. Onegai shimas. Hi. How are they translating Is that like please? Is that is that gonna be yes please? I don't know whether that's what they want us to say. Yes it is. Hi, onegaishimas. Yes please. By the way, if you're following this and you're like, this is all easy stuff, don't worry, it's gonna get more difficult. And if you're following this and you're like, this is too difficult, don't worry. We're doing the whole range of language learning. Uh, I'm a student. Gakusei desu. Gakusei desu. Um, so, gakusei is student. Gakusei desu. Uh, am a student. There is no I here. Uh, a lot of the time, like, the subject of a sentence in Japanese is omitted. Gakusei desu. Gakusei, gakusei, gakusei. I still think that that long E sound sounds wrong when I say it. Gakusei desu. Gakusei desu. It, it, it sounds wrong as I say it. 
中村さんは先生です。中村さん、remember Mr. 中村 or Ms. 中村 ?It's not specified. 中村さんは先生です。先生。You might know if you've ever learned karate or something like that, you might know the word sensei. Or if you watch Karate Kid, yes, sensei. Nakamura, Nakamura san wa sensei desu. Yeah, previously, all of my Japanese knowledge was from Karate Kid. So, sensei,、uh, Daniel san. That was it. Nakamura is a sensei teacher. Nakamura san wa sensei desu. Nakamura is a teacher. We're doing good. Yeah, we're going to get more difficult, Buddha.、Uh, like, this is. I, I'll show you in just a second. Let's finish this round first.、Uh, Nakamura san wa sensei desu. Okay. Ms. Nakamura is a student. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's Mr. or Ms., it is still son.、Uh, Nakamura. Don't be scared, Buddha. I'm scared that you'll watch this and you'll be like, no, I'm not learning it. It's too hard. Nakamura san wa gakusei desu. Gakusei desu. Nakamura san wa gakusei desu. We're nearly there. Zero mistakes so far. Hajime mashite, Nakamura to yimas. Hajime mashite, Nakamura to yimas. Anthony, for you, Mas. Nice to meet you. My name, or I'm called Nakamura. Okay, we're nearly there. Ms. Nakamura is a teacher. Nakamura san wa sensei desu. Nakamura san. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Don't worry, don't be defeated. Don't be defeated, Buddha. We'll get back to this in a second. I'm a student. Okay. Don't be defeated. Lesson completo. Let me help you, Buddha. Let me hold your hand. Um, we are purple crowning these, which means that we are basically like that's like the top level for this topic.、Um, that is the target for this topic. Oh, wow. Okay. Who is Nakamura san? Nakamura san wa sensei desu.、Um, if we go back,、uh, Buddha Bana, okay? So if you go to the very beginning here, again, we've already aced these. But if you click in tips, it will teach you things. It will teach you like、uh, how to say the characters. And there's like an explanation for all of these. They start with numbers like ichi, one, ni, two, san, three. Hey, Zara. Thank you for following. It's very nice to see you here. Yon, four. So it starts with the basics. Okay, Buddha, it starts with the basics. And if you want to get even more basic, There is a second tab down here, which is basically just the alphabet. So it will, they will like teach you the characters and how to say them.、Ma. So it, they'll say it. Ma. Ma. And then you can draw it yourself like this. Ma. They'll say it and you have to type it. And it really holds your hand. Don't worry about it. So you go back to the very beginning and like. You learn the characters one by one, and then you learn, like, I'm Anthony, you're Buddha Burner, she's Pink Ranger. And it it does hold your hand, and the, the level starts at an acceptable level, and you can, sud you can like, slowly work your way up. So don't worry too much about it, okay?、Um, hello, Maiko Fu, how are you doing? Nice to see you as well. Yeah, Nakamura san could be Mr. Nakamura, it could be Ms. Nakamura.、Um, san is just a, a title of respect, and it doesn't necessarily mean male or female. Okay? Michael Fu, it has been a while. How are you doing?、Uh, we are drinking yogurt flavor ramen e today, and it is、um, meh. M E H. Meh. So don't so worry, Buddha. Don't worry about it. You can do this. 
Um, I suggest that you download two apps. I suggest that you download Drops and Duolingo and you start both of them at the very beginning, okay? And the good thing with um, both of those apps is that you can use those apps to learn other languages as well. So you don't have to learn like, um, you don't have to learn uh, Japanese. You can learn another language as well. Or instead, Silver said it also means mountain. Yeah, but um, it's written differently. So if you are writing san, it is um, written in hiragana for people, but it would be written in kanji, right? If it were a mountain. Okay, Buddha, download Duolingo. And when you do download Duolingo, Buddha, add me, Anthony Kel. Oh, right there, right there. A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-K-E-L. If you add me down there, um, I can pay attention to you and see if you are actually studying hard or not. Like, I'm paying attention to... Who is here? Who is here? Silver. <laughs> Silver Ore is not studying hard. What? Zero XP in one week. Silver. Zero XP in one week. Zero day streak. <sighs> you know, I'm not angry, Silver. I'm just, I'm just disappointed, okay? I mean, look at Gavin over here. I bet Gavin's stud... Zero XP? Oh my goodness, we've got to get Gavin back in the chat. Oh no, anybody? Is anybody? Liam, Liam must be working hard. Liam's doing okay. Liam's doing okay. I'm pretty sure that like, if I hadn't had my crazy Saturday and Sunday, that Liam would be ahead of me. Like on average. So yeah, you can add me on Duolingo. Anthony, Cal any of you, anybody watching can add me. Um, no, look, do not perceive, says Silver. Yeah. Silver is basically doing the monkey with the hands over their eyes. Yeah, don't look. Don't look. Okay. Rip XP. Let's get back to work, shall we? So now that I'm a, I've am i completed intro one, Katakana there looks like it needs a little bit of extra work, doesn't it? So let's keep working our way down, shall we? We have a little bit of extra time today. We can keep going. Yeah, Silver has been named and shamed. Indonesia. Oh, God. Okay, let's try this. In do ne ne G with a J sound. Ah. Or is it Indonesia? Okay, that's what I'm going to put. Indonesia. We got it right. That's Indonesia. Indonesia in Japanese, Indonesia. And by the way, Buddha, I don't know if Buddha, still, if, if Buddha can still hear me uh, because they just said one sec. Um, by the way, Buddha, when you are learning this, you will notice more and more that a lot of Japanese language is actually like English. Um, or it is other languages as well. Silver says, I got 5,000 in one week, so we can carry some of that over, right? I don't know. Did Duolingo carry it over? Why don't you check? Oh, wait. My star hasn't updated. So my, my little fire thing hasn't updated. Give me a second. Update. Update. Update, fire. My fire isn't updating. No. Update, fire. Owls can't do math. Owls are wise. Of course they can do math. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try and get my little thing back again. I want my flame. Update. Update. There we go. Buddha says, I can hear you. Good. Yeah, um, a lot of Japanese language is... Like, when you learn the vocabulary, you will notice a lot of words that you already know. And not just Japanese words that you already know, like sushi. But, like, Indonesia is Indonesia. That's not that hard to learn. Nepal. 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 Nepal is Nepal. Oh, what was this? What was this? Yeah, there's a lot of loan words. Uh, Vietnam. I remember this. I've got this. I've got this. Bet. I've got itchy nose today. Is this like Betonamu? That can't be right, can it? Betonamu. 
Vietnam, Bet Donamu. Indonesia. We know that one already. Indonesia, Indonesia. Indonesia. Nepal. Now, I wouldn't have remembered that if they hadn't just reminded me. Nepal. Pa, is it a long pa? Ru? Nepal. We got this. We're going to get. Well, we're not going to get the purple crown today. Egypt. Again, we know that. Listen to it. Egypt. Egypt. Um, yeah, Silver says Silver struggles with the loan words because I can't ever remember the Japanese pronunciations. Drops. <laughs> uh, that's my suggestion right now. Drops. Egypt is Egypt. Oh my God. How do you spell Egypt in English? There we go. Egypt. Egypt. Uh, what is the correct character for mu? We have na. Na. Mu. Mu. Ki. Ki. And ru. Mu. 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 We got this. Egypt. 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 E. Ji. Hu. Ho. No, wait, 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 wait. That's not right. That. Egypt. Pu. Egypt. Pu. To. Is that it? Egypt. No! Oh, it's Egypt. Egypt. We've lost our heart. Oh no, we're in trouble now. This is back to silver and uh, they're not remembering the Japanese pronunciations. Egypt is Egypt. Not Egypt. Egypt. Vietnam. We just did that one. Vietnam. Vietnam. To. To. Ha. 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 To. To. But they want to know to. To. Remember to and dot is a little bit different. To. To. More like a T sound. To. To. More like a D sound. It's got that little uh, duck ten in the corner. To. Okay then. What's the correct character for ne? It's the first one. Ne. Ne. You also have P. Na. Na. Pe. Pe. Ne. Ne. Why is it getting hot in here? The aircon is on. Is it the study? Is study overheating me? Okay. Write the correct character for be. We have mu. Mu. Be. Be. Pi. Pi. And pe. Pe. They wanted be, not pe. Be. We got this. Egypt. Egypt. E e How can we remember this? Hold on a second. I got this. I got this. I got this, guys. Wait for it. Egypt. Egypt. See? We got it. We know what we're doing. Egypt. Lesson complete. Lesson complete, guys, with one mistake, and that was the e and the e. Yay! You completed a lesson, Buddha. Really? Already? What? Uh, we're not going to go into the next one yet, uh, but we have leveled that up a little bit, and then I'm going to have to level up intro two and all of those. Let's see if Buddha has been kind enough to add me yet. I don't think so. Buddha Burner, are you Buddha Burner? What is your username? Or you can add Anthony Cal. The hay fever is getting me these days. It really is. So I'm sorry if I look terrible, like touching my face all the time. Silver says I got ice cream because I deserve it after being publicly shamed on the internet. Yeah, you deserve it. This is so hot that the aircon says it's not. Give me a second. Come on, aircon.
I'm just going to try and get some more cooling going on here. Because I'm struggling with the heat. <laughs> when is summer going to end, guys? When is summer going to end? It's been way too hot these days. Oh, buddy, you're creating your profile now. No worries. Thank you so much. Okay. Let us keep going. I want these to be nice and in order. So we've already got four lessons complete over there on intro one to get our purple crown. We've got three lessons complete over there on Katakana two. We've only got one lesson complete here, so we need two. My OCD makes sense to me. Okay, let's keep going. We're doing intro two now. I just saw whipped cream. It's got extra creamy whipped topping because we can't legally call it whipped cream. That's amazing. Is that like when you're young and like you know that your friends like are the rich family because they have orange juice, but when you go home, you look in your fridge and it's like orange juice drink and not actually orange juice. Let's have some of this milk drink. Okay. Select the correct characters for Hanase. Hanase. We got that. And look, they're, they're quite tricky about this. They've used se, se, se for all of them and just change the kanji at the beginning. Hanase. Watashi wa eigo ga hanasemasu. Watashi wa eigo ga hanasemasu. I'm still not completely comfortable or familiar with when I need to say Hanashi and hanase. I don't know the difference yet. I don't know. Watashi wa eigo ka hanasemasu. I speak English. Watashi wa Cantonese ga hanasemasu. Ah, and a little bit of Nihongo. Can you speak Japanese? Nihongo ga? Is it going to be a ga? I don't know. Nihongo ga hana se masuka. Is that right? Nihongo ga hana se masuka. It's right. I wasn't sure about it. Um, orange juicy drink. Oh, not even orange juice drink. Hmm. I will answer your friend request in just a second, Buddha Burner. Uh, we're going to try and get this one leveled up first. Can you speak Japanese? Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Yeah. Eigo ga hanasemasu ka? Eigo ga hanasemasu ka? Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Eigo ga hanasemasu ka? I can speak Japanese. Nihongo. I can speak this sentence in Japanese. Ga hanase. Silver, do you know? Do you know the difference between hanase and hanashi? Hanashi. Like, when someone speaks to you, you could say hanashimas, right? Or hanasemas. I, am I getting this wrong? Am I misremembering this? I know that later on I've seen hanashi, but here I'm seeing hanase, and I don't know the difference. Uh, Nihongo ga hana hanase mas. Nihongo ga hanase mas. Okay, we got this. Nihongo we are getting ga hanase mas ka? Can you speak Japanese? Oh, oh, can you speak Japanese? Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Okay, let's keep going. What's the next one? I can speak English. English is eigo. Now remember, uh, English people would be ikiri sujin. But English, the language, is eigo, right? Eigo ka. So, like in English, you would. You can use the word Japanese to describe the language and the people. Um, but in Japanese, there's a word for the people, which would be Nihon Jin. And the language, Nihon 
国，诶、啊，一个格，哈那塞马斯。I can speak English。一个格，哈那斯马斯。Nothing wrong so far。日本語が話せます。Uh, this time they've added watashi wa。I I speak Japanese。Okay。Okay, so Silva tells me that hanase is to be able to speak. Hanashi is just speak. Okay, so it's like when you say I speak English, it's more like I can speak English, right? My nose is so itchy with the hay fever. Stop touching it, Anthony. Stop it. Stop it. I speak Japanese. So oh, I just wrote I wish Japanese. So really, this is I can speak Japanese. 私は日本語が話せます。Says it's right. Can you speak English? 英語が話せ、OK、話、OK、英語が話せますか？英語が話せますか？ Can you speak English? And Buddha, pay attention to this for a second. And I know that you don't know this vocabulary yet, but we, we didn't say here like, "Can you speak English?" There's no "you" in this sentence. The question "Can speak English?" implies "you," so we don't need a subject for the sentence. Silva says the other is kind of like if you are, if you want to clarify what language you are speaking. At, oh, I get what you mean. So what you mean is like. Can you speak English as opposed to, are you speaking English? Right, that that that's different.、Um, the question for me could be, can you speak Cantonese? Yes or no.、Um, but are you speaking English, or are you speaking Cantonese? Is a different question. Okay, I think I got it. はい、日本語が話せます。はい、yes, 日本語 Japanese. Uh, yes, I can speak Japanese. Oh, yes, I can speak Japanese. Hi, Nihongo ga hanasmas. Hi, Cantonese ga hanasmas. Hi, Eigo ga hanasmas. Okay, we're doing good. Ten rights in a row, guys. I can speak Japanese. Yes, I can speak Japanese. Hi. On. Go. Ga. Hana. Se. Masu. Hi. Nihongo. Ga. Hana. Se. Mas. Very good. Okay, okay, okay.、Uh, super excited. Gotta get settled in real quick. Be right back. No worries, but I'll wait for you to come back.、Um, so let me just check with Silver. It's weird. Japanese verb stuff. It's much higher level to know how it really works, but that's a basic explanation. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're technically just two forms of the same verb, like in English, where we have multiple forms of the same verb. Okay. Ego ga. I can speak English now. Duolingo will accept I speak English, but I want to add the can just to kind of remember that. And we're done. Ta da! We're doing okay, guys. We are doing okay. Let's check whether I'm now friends with Buddha Bono. Stop scratching your nose, Anthony. Oh, is it up there? Wait for it. New follower, Buddha. Is wait, did you get the name Buddha? Really? Okay, okay, Buddha Burner.、Uh, there you go. I can see Buddha Burner's 14 XP. I am now following Buddha Burner as well. We will pay attention to him, and、uh, if he doesn't study hard, we will name and shame him. We're doing okay. Look at that.、Uh, now I've got three out of four here, two out of four here. OCD tells me that we need to have one out of four here. 
So let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We can only make three mistakes in this challenge. Stay focused. Zero. I remember this one. Zero. I learned this from a Japanese magician. Uh, Cyril, Cyril, Cyril. Oh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name now. Cyril Takayama. Cyril Takayama is a Japanese American. Uh, I think he's Japanese American. Um, but Cyril Takayama is a uh, an American magician who did a lot of shows in Japan a few years back. And he did one show where it was Cyril versus Zero. And there was like a fake magician and a real magician in the show. Watch it on YouTube, it's funny. Uh, but the other magician was called Zero. And that's how I remember that name. Ni, which is the correct character for Ni. We have Ni. Ni. Ichi. Ichi. Go. Go. San. San. It's gonna ni. be Ni. There we go. Zero. zero is zero. We're gonna fly through this guy. Zero mistakes. Zero. Ichi. Ni. Zero, i, ichi, i, ni. Oh, be careful, guys. These are all coming out weird down there, the suggestions. So, does it want me to do kanji? Okay, so let's do zero first. Zero, ichi. We're going to put the kanji because Duolingo is weird. And then, ni. Let's find the kanji. Zero, ichi, ni. Duolingo is weird with kanji. It might not accept it. But it's okay this time. Okay then. What is the correct character for chi? We have ima. Ima. Ichi. Ichi. Hun. Hun. And chi. Ji. Meaning hours or time? Zero, ichi. Zero. Straight from the English zero. I wonder if zero is English, you know, etymologically speaking. Zero. Ichi. Zero one. Zero. Ichi. Ni. Ni is two. Zero. Ichi. Ni. San. Yon. Which one is Ichi? The first one. Ichi. Go. Go. Yon. Yon. Ni. Ni. Silver's back. All right, I got 14 out of my one XP goal. That's like 14 times as much as I feel like. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Silver, you have a one XP goal? That's ridiculous. Ichi. Ichi. Zero, ichi. We got this. Zero. Ichi. One. Zeros and ones. Two o'clock. Ichi. Ni. Chi. Ichi knows. Ichi. And in a row. Zero. Ichi. Ni. <laughs> Silver set it real low because it was ruining their vibe. Zero. One. Do you need to have a daily goal in Duolingo? Like... Could your daily goal be zero? It is one o'clock. Ichi chi. Yes. Ichi des. We got Ichi. this, guys. Two o'clock. Yeah, o'clock. Two o'clock. We got this. It is not two o'clock. Nichi de wa arimasen. Dewa Ari Ma Sam. Oh, what's going on with the kanji things here down at the bottom? What is it suggesting? Niji Dewa Ari Ma Sam. Okay, we got that. We got that. 
Buddha's back and in my study. Go for it, Buddha. Go for it. You got this. Niji desu ka? Is it two o'clock? Is it. Hai. Niji goro ni desu. Hong Kong. Ima Hong Kong ni wa. Niji. Chu go hun. Des. Niji desu ka? Is it two o'clock? Uh, it is not one o'clock. Hi. Uh, Hong Kong. Uh, uh, it is not one o'clock. It is not one That's what I just said. It's not one o'clock. Not one O'clock. Ta da! Ah! Oh, Silver, you're uncracking your things. Keep uncracking. Keep uncracking. We're doing well. Except for the itch that I can't stop. And how tidy does it all look? Okay. <gasps> no! I did the wrong one. I wanted to make it tidy. Four out of four, three out of four, two out of four. I was supposed to do this one. No, it's been untidied. Why, why didn't you stop me? Oh God, now I've got more to do. We've got to do Katakana three. I was... It's okay, we've got to work our way down. I wanted it to be tidy. Oh, God. Now I'm going to have to get one out of four on routines, two out of four on time, three out of four on food, four out of four on katakana, and five out of four. Anyway. Katakana three. <laughs> ruined. It's all ruined. It's all ruined. I'll do this one first. Well, no. Let me have a look here. If I want to tidy this up, yeah, one, two, three. I've got to fill up these one, two, threes up here. Let's keep going then. Katakana two. Got to do them all now. <laughs> this is a good way of motivating me. Just like the the aim of making it tidy is really helping with my uh, with my focus. You can only make up to three mistakes. Okay. Sha. Sha. Got it. <laughs> London. Oh. Ron. Don. Yeah. Which one is pot? The first one. Pot. We also have mu. Mu. Sha. Sha. Shia. Sha. And we have ga. Ga. But we want pot. pot. Greece. Oh, God. Greece. Um, Egypt toys. Egypt. Greece was... Grisha? Is that it? Gu? E? Sha? Is that it? I don't know. It's in my head. No. Oh, Girisha. Not Girisha. Girisha. Greece. How do you say that properly? Let me just listen to uh, the translator. Okay. Greece is the word that you heard. Girisha. Girisha. It's got groove, it's got meaning. Okay, they want ka. What do we have here? We have bi. Bi. Po. Po. Sha. Sha. And ka. Berlin. <laughs> I can't remember half of these. Berlin. 
Maybe. She knows. I need to hide it every time. There we go. She knows. Better than. I'm scared. It doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. Bear. Is it bear? Din? No, that doesn't sound right either. Bear. Din? No. Bear. Din? No. None of these sound right. What is it? Berlin. Berudin. Let's just do that. Okay, there you go. That was right. Berudin. Um, Silver, are you all restored to your shiny glory? Are you at level five or level six on your Japanese? Have you got the purple crowns or are they gold crowns? Have your gold crowns unlocked yet? Berudin. Berlin. London. We know that. We've already done that. London. I've got to take some hay fever medicine. Oh, Portugal. 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 What was that? I don't deserve the crown. I don't. It's not Portoga. <laughs> what was it? Oh, you've got purple ones, but you're not that far into Duolingo because you reset the progress because you've been away for it for so long. Does it just see that you've been away for a long time and delete everything? It's like you don't deserve this progress. Deletes. What is Portugal? Or? Or? Huh? Doesn't look right. I forgot the root. I was thinking in Cantonese. Okay. If you speak Cantonese, you'll get that. Berlin. 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 So don't forget the root. Which one is ya? This one? Ya. Or you? You. Or ja? Ja. Or yo? Yo. It's gonna be a ya. ya. Oh, you deleted it manually. Okay. Excuse me. Too many bubbles. Yirisha. We know what that is. Greece. Not grace. Greece. Greece is the word, is the word that you heard. Poland. Or. Oran. 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 It was. Porando. I don't deserve this. Better luck next time. Rip. No thanks. We can try and get some others up to scratch, right? So we've got one right here. Three right there. So I've got to do that one. If that's three, then Katakana three has to be four. Introduction has to be four as well. Yeah, let's let's level these up. See, just keeping things tidy is a challenge. You can only make three mistakes. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Ki. Ki. Henki. Tim. Ki. Oh, what were those other ones? I don't even know how to read those. I should have checked them. Hey, John. How are you? John. Dion. San. John san. Wa genki desu ka? John san wa genki desu ka? Or could we just come right out and just write O genki desu ka? Ka? Hey, John san wa genki desu ka? Ah, genki desu. Um, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Uh, Silva says, have you made a Duolingo for schools because you can get a full word list from lessons with it? Um, I think so. So way, 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 way back when I started getting back into Duolingo, I Googled how to get infinite stars on du infinite hearts, how to get infinite hearts on Duolingo. And it told me to make a school's account, I think it was, or a teacher's account. Um, and because of that, uh, I've got infinite hearts on the normal challenges, not on the purple crowns, but on everything else. Um, let me just have a look on the Duolingo website to see whether I get the word lists. Okay, I'm on the Duolingo website right now. Oh, wow. Let me just show you something here. So I've got purple hearts on the computer. Oh, is it on the tablet? Watch this. Let me just get a, a source. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. Just to find what I'm looking at. Look at this. On the website, I don't have purple crowns. They're all they're all gold. This is really weird. So on the tablet and on my phone, I already have purple crowns unlocked. They're not unlocked on the web version of this. That is that is odd. But yeah, I'm just having a look down here. Uh, where would the word list behind be hiding? What do we have here? So, Duolingo Learn. Duolingo for schools. Is this what you're talking about? Simon's curriculum. Unit 1 overview. Maybe I have to set this all up. Maybe. Um, do I have to make a new class? I don't know. I don't know how it works. This is all new. This is all new for me, Duolingo for School. So I haven't set this up properly. Um, but yeah, I don't have Purple Crowns on the website yet. Um, we have a shop here. Hold on. Events, discuss, dictionary. Oh, wow. We've got a dictionary as well. Words. Okay, okay. These are the words that I should have learned. And then it tells you when you last practiced them. And what you're strong... Wait, what am I not strong at? Can you still see this? Hold on. What words am I least strong at? Ja. Ha. I last practiced the word ja four years ago. <laughs> ja, mata. <laughs> ja. The last time I practiced the word ja was four years ago. I don't know why. For some reason, according to Duolingo, I haven't practiced that for a very long time. Dewa. Gomen. I never say sorry. Gomen. 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 Oh, that's funny. Okay. Bye, Duo. Get out of here. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yeah, huh? And we're back. Okay, okay. So Silver says you just add new class and add Japanese. Wait, should I put that back? Can I bring that back? Ah, I've lost my window. Okay, I'll, I'll try that in just a second. Window captured. Delete. My charity goal still hasn't updated. I changed that to 2,500 Hong Kong dollars. Exclamation my charities if you're interested. Um, hold on a second. Window capture. New window capture. Capture. No, 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 no. Capture. Chrome. Okay. Silver tells me that all we have to do here is type in to go into schools. And then click new class and add Japanese. Where was it? New class. Classroom name, Japanese. What language is this? Are we learning? We are learning Klingon, Japanese. What language should we use for Duolingo instructions or notifications? Japanese. Welcome, Anthony. Let's add your students. What? 
Wait, Silver, can I add you here? If anyone would like to be my student. <laughs> um, Duolingo.com slash O slash V F Y D F D. Oh, wow. If you want to be a student, the link is right there. I, I don't know how good that is. Okay, we can add students. I can give you assignments. Oh, this is too much hard work. Oh, wow, we've got all the words. Hold on. Is this all of it? I think it is. Japanese for English speakers. We've got all the units. The bank words? Wait, is it all here? So it's just like a vocabulary list here for, for like all of the lessons, I think. This is pretty cool. Settings, classroom name, English. We have a PDF. I can delete you. You're viewing the latest version of Duolingo for schools. This is great. If anyone would like to pretend that I was their teacher, create an assignment. Practice a Duolingo skill. Practice to learn exp Okay, my assignment is, and this is for silver, 10x, oh, hold on. 2xp silver. Your 1xp goal is too low. 2xp Japanese. And I'm going to give you until next week. <laughs> I'm going to give you until next week, silver. Oh no, is that from and to? Okay, starting now. Starting yes, uh, starting today. I'm finishing. Wait, how do I do starting? Starting. The from time cannot be in the past. Change that to then. Actually, I should, uh, let me just go back. One XP a day. It gives you control of people's accounts if they join. What? Buddha Bunny, you got to get some rest. No worries. Have a good sleep and I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Um, oh, Silver says it gives me control of people's accounts if they join. Like I could delete your progress. Huh. Okay, don't join, people. Don't join. That sounds bad. I don't want control of your account. Okay, I'll leave that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Silver, for the information, though. At least the word list is good. Gone. Okay then, Buddha Bona, thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, have a good rest. And uh, don't work too hard tomorrow, all right? And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Right. Matane. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have to blur that out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to blur that out. How can I blur it out? How can I delete that? Give me a second. <laughs> Give me just a second, guys. While I jump into the chat. Wait, how do I mod this? How do I mod this? Mod view. Give me the mod view. Why isn't this working? Okay. Give me just a second. Why isn't mod view working? I think that's gone, isn't it? I think that's gone. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, back to work. I will be killing that that email address. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Silver. I just deleted that email address because that isn't my public email. But that that is my private one. So I will try and blur that out when I upload this to YouTube. <laughs> Timestamp. Okay, I got this. Uh, Okenki deska, how are you? Or are you well? How are you? I think that will translate as. 
Okay, no worries, Silver. No worries. I'll delete the link as well at some point. <laughs> because I set up Duolingo ages ago with that address. Um, and like, you know, I don't think it matters too much that it's out there. But still, just to be on the safe side, I will be, uh, I'll be deleting that. Uh, and I might close that classroom as well. Just to be on the safe side. Can I close the classroom? Settings. Or change the code. Delete classroom. Gone. The classroom is dead. No worries, Silver. Don't worry about it. It's great. It's fine. Okay, then. Of course. Oh, wow. How do we say of course in Japanese? I heard somebody say this. I was in a Japanese restaurant. Hold on, let me just go back in time. I was in a Japanese restaurant in Central. And there was a guy sitting at the bar, like the counter in front of the chef. And he said, Mochiron. Mochiron. That's what he said, Mochiron. John-san, o genki desu ka? John-san, o genki desu ka? John! How are you? John-san, o genki desu ka? O genki desu ka? I'll send you, I'll only send you a few funny videos on it. No worries. Hai. Uh, mochiron. Hai, mochiron. Okay, we're e. doing okay so far. E. What was E? Was that just yes? It sounds like a yes. Like, I'm thinking more of like an E rather than an E. I think E sounds better. Ooh, my chat window's got weird on, um, on Streamlabs. Are we still streaming? My Streamlabs has suddenly gone odd. Guys, is Streamlabs still working? Can you still hear me? I'm suddenly getting like a bug here. Uh, can you please like... Uh, 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 oh, what's going on with my Streamlabs? Am I still here? Good, I'm glad I'm still live, but my screen has gone so odd. Let me just show you what I've got on my stream. Oh, it's coming back. Never mind, we're coming back. And we're back. <sighs> you know what I should have said just then? Okay then. Genki. Genki. And what's this one? Something. Mono. Honmono. Honmono. Hmm. Denki. Denki. Honki. Honki. Genki. Genki. <laughs> we're doing good. Maria san, o genki desu ka? Maria san. Okenki desu ka? Uh, Maria. How are you? No, it's good that you told me, Silver, because otherwise, like, I just shared that link with the world. And, uh, yeah, my email's on there. I can speak English and Japanese. Uh, eigo. Eigo. Did you know? Eigo mo. Uh, Nihongo. Ga. Hana. Semasu. Ego mo. Is that right? Or ego to. Ego mo. Ego to. Ego to. Nihongo ga. Hana smas. Mochiron des. Of course. Was it wrong? Mochiron desu. Hey, Kyle Guru. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Uh, we are learning Japanese with Duolingo today. Uh, I'm trying to get all the purple crowns. John can speak English and Japanese. Not like me. I just speak English. Uh, John. Oh, should be a mini yo. John-san. Wa. Eigo. To. This time it should be to, not mo. Uh, John san wa eigo to Nihongo. Ka. 
Hana Semas. Okay, I think we've got this right. We're using tot this time. John san wa nihongo to. Eigo to. Nihongo ka hanasimas. I'm confident. I'm confident this time. Okay, we're doing good. Mochiron genki desu. A、uh, guru says, How's your duo、uh, doing? It's, we're doing okay today.、Um, I was just saying earlier on that I kind of fell off it for a while and I wasn't doing that much,、uh, but I've changed the way that I'm approaching it and I'm working a little bit hard these last few days.、Um, of course I'm fine. How are you? Mochiron genki desu. Of course I'm fine. And, like, when I hear, of course, I'm fine in English, it sounds a little bit direct, I guess.、Uh, but I have been assured by Japanese、uh, viewers that Mochiron Genki des does not sound rude or inappropriate.、Uh, Kaoguru says, why Japanese?、Um, yeah. yeah, why Japanese?、Um, I. First, started learning a little bit of Japanese、um, a few years back. And we'd visited Japan. My wife and I had visited Japan on holiday. And I remember being there, suddenly thinking to myself, wow, it would be much easier to get around、uh, and to take the right train、um, if we could read the characters. And the point was, that, like,、um, so I live in Hong Kong. And I can read Chinese characters well enough. And there's a lot of Chinese characters inside Japanese language. So, like words like Tokyo or Kyoto, like place names, are often written in kanji characters, Chinese characters.、Um, but we would be waiting for a train, and every now and then you would see a name written in like hiragana or katakana or something like that. And I was like, wow, it would make this holiday much easier if we could actually read some place names. So I learned hiragana and katakana characters using another app, not using Duolingo. I was using、uh, two apps on Android called Hiragana Pro and Katakana Pro. And then I learned how to read the characters. And then the next time we visited Japan, It was suddenly a lot easier. And, like, there's a lot of loan words in Japanese from other languages. And it was suddenly quite enabling, right, to be able to read. Becoming literate,、uh, turns out, is very helpful.、Um, when you're buying snacks, you know, Trying to figure out whether these are the right snacks or whether these are the right tea bags or whatever. It is good to know. Like, it's good to be able to recognize what you are buying. So, that was why I started learning Japanese.、Um, it was just for travel.、Um, obviously, we're not traveling very much these days. A c a l g a r u says, What country are you from? I'm from the UK originally, but I live in Hong Kong.、Um, so, Hong Kong is not that far away from Japan. And we do have, like,、uh, ordinarily,、uh, it's quite easy to travel there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it goes without saying that the last couple of years,、uh, for the last couple of years, it's been a little bit difficult to,、uh, to travel. But hopefully, if I get good at Japanese again,、uh, we can visit there sometime in the future. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mochiron genki desu. Of course, I'm fine. Yes, I'm well. Hi.、Oh, how about you, Kalguru? Where are you from? Is me being rude just talking about myself? Genki desu. Hi, Genki desu. John san wa ego to nihongo ga hana se mas. To. No, mo. John san wa ego to nihongo ga hana se mas. John can speak English. Thank you for following, Kalguru.、Uh, English and Japanese. John can speak English and Japanese. Thank you. Oh, you're from California. Hey, Kalguru is from California. It's good to see you here.、Um, I do stream learning Japanese with Duolingo every Monday. It's Monday here in Hong Kong at around this time.、Um, so that is my normal schedule. I think with California, it should be 
evening for you right now. Is that right? Um, I also stream Pokemon Go, if you're interested in that. And I sometimes do IRL streams, like walking around Hong Kong and things like that. My Pokemon Go streams might be a little bit late for you, though, because I often stream Pokemon Go in the evening here, which would be like three or four hours after this time. So I'm not sure what time that would be in California, but I imagine it's getting a little bit late. But yep, we do Duolingo, Pokemon Go, walking around Hong Kong, and whatever else comes up. Thank you. That came very late. The little follow dance came a little bit late. That follow dance is supposed to happen like as soon as you follow. Uh, for some reason, it happened a little bit late. But thank you so much for following. Okay, then. Tanaka sensei wa nihongo to eigo ka hanasimasu. Teacher Tanaka. Is that how they want us to put it? Teacher Tanaka? That doesn't sound weird. Teacher Tanaka? Okay. Uh, Tanaka sensei wa. Nihongo uh, to eigo ka hanasimasu. Uh, teacher Tanaka can speak. can fish. can speak Japanese and English. Teacher Tanaka, it's fine. Oh, it's almost midnight already for you? Yeah, Kalguru, I think that you won't be able to watch the Pokemon Go streams unless it's like earlier on. I sometimes do streams in the morning, um, but my fixed stream is, is this one. My fixed stream is this one. I'm so glad that my little Pokemon actually danced, though. I think that's the first time I've seen them do it. Um, are you learning any languages, Kalguru? I can speak English and Japanese. Eigo to to to. Eigo to nihon go ka hanasemasu. Eigo to nihon go ka hanasemasu. Eigo to Cantonese ka hanasemasu. Oh, you're learning Spanish and Hindi. That sounds fun. Hey, Reson Comprito. Um, yeah, so we've been using Duolingo. Excuse me. We've been doing Duolingo. Um, we've also been using another app called Drops that I can show you, but I can't really use right now. Oh, extend your session. No, we're not watching an ad. Um, we've been using Drops as well for language learning. Your Archer achievement leveled up. Okay, I guess that's the thing. Um, and Drops is quite a good app for learning vocabulary as well. I don't know if they have a Hindi version, but they do have a, uh, a Spanish version of Drops. Oh, it's another ad. Okay, uh, let me just have a look here to see whether Drops has Hindi as well. Because we were just looking at that. Drops, let's have a look. Arabic Hindi, there you go. There's a Hindi version of Drops as well. So yeah, this could be uh, this could be quite cool. So yeah, I, I do recommend both of those. Uh, but most of our time has been spent on Duolingo. It takes up a lot of time. Okay, how are we doing? Are we tidying this up yet? We've got to finish Katakana 2. We've got to finish Introduction 2. We've got to do Katakana 3. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot to do. What should we do next? Introductions, katakana, food, time, or routines. Any idea? What do you think, guys? I my my brain isn't working. Intro, katakana, food, routine. Anyone? <laughs> no? Oh well, I'll do this one. What's that device? Oh, okay, this device. Um is, wait for it, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e, uh, one of the cheaper Samsung Galaxy tablets. Um, very good for reading, very good for watching videos, good for Duolingo, good for listening to stuff, not great for games. 
uh, it doesn't have a very powerful CPU in it. So like if you're looking to play games on this, it's fine. Um, but for like Duolingo or for reading books and things, it, it's fine. Also not good for drawing because the S Pen doesn't work with it. If I had known that, I would have got a different one. <clears throat> yeah, but this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. Let's keep going. Hachichi something ni. Oh, hachichi goro ni. Goro ni. Okay. Hachichi goro ni gakkoi ikimasu. I go to school at around 8 o'clock. How is it compared to iPad? Um, for me, uh, because I use uh, an Android phone as well. Yeah, there we go. I've got my uh, Pixel Pixel 5 here. Um, it's best for me. Um, I think that like if you're in the iPhone ecosystem, then, you know, iPhone, iPad is a, a nice pairing to have. If you're in the Android ecosystem, the best tablets are probably Samsung tablets, like just based on what I know. If you directly compare it to iPad, I don't know. Um, I think that the new iPads are quite good as well. Um, back when I got this, um, the iPad still had the, the normal iPad still had the thumbprint reader on the front. So it had that big bezel around it when I got this. And I didn't like that. I like that this has like a thinner frame around it. Um, but now I think that most iPads have the thin frame. Do they still have the one with the, the fingerprint reader on the front? I'm not sure. So they're similar. I think they're broadly similar. But yeah, like the, the fact that I can't use the Samsung pen on this is a little bit annoying. Uh, if I want one with S Pen support, I will have to buy the more expensive tablet. But for everything that I use it for, I just use it for reading and for videos and things like that. It's fine for me. It's fine for me. I will go. Ikimasu? Is that it? Ikimasu. That's it. Okay. I will go. Ikimasu. Let's keep going. Mochiron ikimasu. Mochiron. Mochiron ikimasu. We just learned Mochiron is of course. Of course. Oh, I just wrote oof course. Of course I will go. Of course I'll go. Mochiron ikimasu. I do not go to school. Uh, Gakkoe. What? What are you doing, phone? What do you mean, got it, Carmel School? What are you doing? I do not go to school. Sorry, my phone just suddenly started trying to get me directions. Oh my goodness. My phone is navigating me to a school. That school is literally like opposite the, the building. Exit navigation. Exit navigation. Okay. I do not go to school. Uh,学校へ学校へ行きません? Is that right? 学校へ行きません? There we go, we got it. 学校へ行きません? I do not go to school. Ikimas, I'm going. I will go. Oh, I will go at around 10 minutes from now, I think. Of course I will go. Mochiron. Eh? Mochiron. Ikimasu. Mochiron ikimasu. Of course I will go. Gakkou ni ikimasen. I will not go to school. Gakko school. Gakko ikimasen. Oh, gakko ni ikimasen. I said gakko e ikimasen. Um, I will not go to school because it sucks. Yay. I go to school at around nine o'clock. Kuchi. Kuchi goro ni gakko e ikimasu. Is that right? Uh, 
kanji. I think we might need the kanji for that. So let's just write the kanji just in case. Eh? How do I get the kanji for nine? Typing on a screen is hard. Um, Q? How do I get the kanji for nine? <laughs> what is the kanji for nine? Da, 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 da. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Kuchi. Koroni. Ga. Ko. Ga. Minitsu. Ga. Ko. E. I. Ki. Mas. Is that right? I'm going to write Koroni in. Uh, in katakana, in hiragana. Koroni. Okay, I think this is right. Kuchi koroni kakkoi ikimasu. I go to school at around nine o'clock. And we got it right. Okay, um, so Kalguru says typing on a screen is hard. Kinda, but I, I, you might not guess it from how badly I was just typing. Um, but I'm actually getting quite comfortable typing uh, Japanese on a screen because there's a lot of swiping and I like that. Um, but yeah, it's um, it can be difficult, but I, I've never typed Japanese on a physical keyboard, so I don't know how that feels. If you ask me to type on a, on a computer keyboard, I wouldn't know how to do it. Uh, do I know Hong Kong Chinese? Cantonese? Yeah. Um, I've lived here for a while. So... Sorry, uh, I've lived here for a while, so my Hong Kong Chinese, my Cantonese is okay. Hachiji ni gakkou e ikimasu. Hachiji gakkou e ikimasu. Hachiji, I go to school at 8 o'clock. I go to school at 8 o'clock. Icicle, 8 icicle. I go to school at 8 o'clock, is that right? Hachiji gakkou e ikimasu. We got this, guys. We've got this. I eat at around 12 o'clock. Okay. Okay. How come I haven't got... Where's Chi? Where's Chi? Where's Chi? Oh, there it is. Junichi. Goroni. Goroni. Uh, I eat. Abe. Is that right? Junichi goro ni tabemasu. Okay, we got this. Kuji goro ni gakkou e ikimasu. Kuji goro ni gakkou e ikimasu. Kuji goro ni gakkou e ikimasu. I go to school at around 9 o'clock. I go to school at around nine o'clock. Where, where am I typing? O'clock. We got this. I go to school at around eight o'clock. That's these are all so similar. Hachichi goroni ga minitsu ko e ikimasu. Is that Goroni? That that kanji over there. I'm gonna change it to Hiragana just in case. Hachichi Goroni Gakko Ikimas. And I'm gonna change the Hachi to Kanji just in case Duolingo is being stupid. I go to school at around eight o'clock. Hachichi Goroni Gakko Ikimas. We're doing good. Do I find it easy? Uh, do you mean Cantonese? Hong Kong Cantonese? Um, I started learning, I was just telling people earlier in the chat that I started learning Hong Kong Cantonese um, years ago. Like before I came to Hong Kong, um, I had done some, some classes, like evening classes. Uh, and then I did a short course for a couple of months um, to kind of like build up a foundation and I feel like once I had that foundation, 
it wasn't that difficult to learn. Um, so now um, I think that my my Cantonese is is okay. I think it's reasonable. Uh, it's much better than my Japanese. My Cantonese is much better than my Japanese. At least I can communicate in day to day life. Um, I think if I was in a if I was suddenly in a professional situation where I had to speak very specific or technical Cantonese, uh, I would probably be in trouble. But uh, just for day to day life, uh, it's fine. Did I find it easy? Um, I found it necessary because like I live in Hong Kong and I feel like if you live in a place and if you can learn the language, you know, you can try your best. And I understand like some people, maybe they move somewhere temporarily or for whatever reason, they're unable to learn, you know, that's, that's fine. And that's up to them. Um, but for me, I feel like as I'm living in Hong Kong, I personally would very much like to be able to communicate. And uh, yeah, I, I've been able to do that. So I don't live in Japan, so maybe I will never learn Japanese well, but we're trying. That's the whole idea here. Can we get good at Japanese using apps? Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. I eat at around 12 o'clock. I eat at around 12 o'clock. They didn't say whether that would be like which 12 o'clock. Junichi uh, Goro ni tabemasu. Junichi Goro ni tabemasu. Uh, but yeah, like knowing Hong Kong Cantonese has helped with Japanese. Like there are words here, like the, every kanji word in that sentence is also in Cantonese. So that kind of like helps me a little bit with my Japanese learning. I go to school at 8 o'clock, not around 8 o'clock, at 8 o'clock. Hachi. Hachichi uh, ni. Kakoe Iki Mas. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, no, 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 no. Ka minitsu. Ko. Kako. E. Iki Mas. Hachichi. Hachichi ni kakoe iki Mas. I go to school at 8 o'clock. I'm losing my voice. Hydrate. Hydrate. I need to redeem my own hydrate. <laughs> I'm losing. Where is hydrate? There it is. And remember, hydrate or die. You should hydrate too. Okay, what have we got here? Watashi wa nihongo. Oh, watashi wa. Uh, Nihongo Gakko no Gakusei desu. I am a student at a Japanese language school. I am a student at a Japanese language school. Is that right? Watashi wa Nihongo Gakko no Gakusei desu. Got it right. And our last question, maybe of the day, I'm a Japanese language school student. Wait, that, that's like what I said in a roundabout way. Okay. Nihon ko ka minitsu ko kako. Nihon ko kako no kakusei desu. Is that right? Nihon ko kako no kakusei desu. I'm a student at a Japanese language school. And we got it. We're doing okay, guys. We are doing okay. Oh. Let's just check our progress. How many lessons did we do today? We did a lot. Prove that you're a legend. Would you like to keep going? Nah, I'm fine. We're doing okay. We have purple crowned a whole bunch of these. We, I will have to purple crown Katakana 2 at a later date. Um, and at the bottom here, we are all the way nearly down to checkpoint 3. We're not quite far down enough down there, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going to level these up and 
maybe, just maybe, we are going to get good at Japanese. I would like to thank everyone for dropping by today. But oh, before that, let's see if we can raid somebody. Uh, because I will be jumping out in just a second. So I'm just going to jump into Twitch and see if we know anybody who's online right now. Anybody who's streaming? Anybody nice to introduce to you? Anybody? Hey, that's me. Oh, wow, I can hear the music on the screen. Okay, who's live? Twitch.tv. Who is live that we know? Give me just a second. Someone's playing Fortnite. Someone's playing League of Legends. Nobody's playing Duolingo that I know right now. So I'm just going to have a look on Duolingo and see if anybody is live streaming. There's nobody here. Oh my goodness, guys, there's no raid today. I'm the only person streaming Duolingo right now in the world. You know what that means? At this moment, you are watching the world's number one Duolingo language learning live stream. Thank you for watching my language learning live stream uh, where I'm trying to see if I can get good at Japanese just using apps. If you would like to continue our lessons uh, after this stream, uh, you can join our Discord server because we do have a Discord server uh, which has all of the Pokemon Go stuff that we're doing, the walking around Hong Kong stuff that we're doing. Uh, there's some Japanese language stuff in there as well. So if you're interested in just sharing your learning with us, then uh, jump into the Discord server, join that group over there. But I would like to thank you for dropping by. Uh, let me just jump to our ending screen here to say thank you in particular to Cal Guru, you're going to be right there for following, and to Zira for following as well. I appreciate you both and everybody else who's been here in the stream. We'll be back here this time next week with some more Duolingo. So uh, take care, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.